Hey guys, this is Kelly once again. Um, this is probably going to be a long video. Um, I wanted to do this before Michael's 10th anniversary. I wanted to have it uploaded before then, but um, didn't happen that way. And I needed to take a little bit of a break. I need to regroup. Of course, I'm always doing that. So there should be no surprise. Um, I can't believe it's been 10 years since Michael passed away. It, for me, it feels like it was just yesterday. And to be honest, I'm never going to feel the same way about another artist, no matter the genre of music that they do ever again. Michael was a special, loving, beautiful human being who gave billions to charity. He put people first before he dealt with himself. Um, and it's sad that now his legacy is being overshadowed with false allegations, <clears throat> you know, and it's, it's disgusting. I don't want to remember him for all the negativity. I want to remember him as the biggest selling artist of all time, the person who gave the most to charity, millions of dollars. I want to remember him as being the best dad on the planet to his kids. If anything, seeing Michael as a parent with his own children makes me want to be a better parent to my little girl. Um, I, I want fans t to not be butting heads in this community. I know we both, all of us, love Michael. And that's okay, that's fine. You know, I, I want all of us to, to, to coexist and, and be on friendly terms. I don't want to, you know, see fans bickering in, you know, within this community, you know. But, like I said, Michael helped me through one of the darkest periods of my life. And without him, I don't think I'd be this kind, loving person that I've been all these years um, there's just something special and wonderful about him that makes that made him unique. You see other people trying to emulate what he did in this industry, and nobody's come close, you know. And I think other celebrities need to focus more on their fans' generosity because Michael made it known, if my fans want my autograph, they're going to get it. If fans want me to come and, you know, want me to do concerts, I'll do it to an extent, you know. But um, had I known um, how much stress Michael was under physically, emotionally, and mentally, I would have wanted him to retire from doing concerts. He could, he could have done more music, you know. But seeing him the way he was before he passed was just so heartbreaking because he was trying to get himself out there and trying to get himself back up on the stage. And, you know, he was dealing with people wanting money left and right. And he was under a lot of stress. You know, I, I, I don't know what else to say. I don't want to make this a super long, long video, but I, I want Michael to be remembered for all the good things he did for people of all colors, of all races, ethnicity, background, doesn't matter what language you speak, doesn't matter what color your skin is, doesn't matter if you're gay, bisexual, transgender, non-binary, pansexual, doesn't matter. Um, and besides that, I, I hope people now see just what a wonderful, loving person he was to everyone. Um, I, 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 and I honestly wanted to see him get remarried and have more kids and put himself out there to do movies and or direct, you know, but that didn't happen. And I feel I'm I'm gonna feel this way for a while. I I felt like this on um, the year that he passed ten years ago. Conrad Murray can rot in hell. Conrad Murray gets to see his kids, his baby mamas. 
Michael doesn't get to see his kids. His kids are all grown up, becoming adults, doing their own thing, and leading their own life. But now they have the media spotlight shining on them, watching their every move. Michael did a good job protecting his children from these types of people. I wish more people were like Michael. If more people were like Michael, I probably wouldn't be so standoffish as a person because I don't I don't do well with people. I don't do well with crowds. I don't do well with big spaces. I have social anxiety. Um I can read a fake person from a mile away. I can see if a person's in st- if interest is is good or bad. I can sense all that. You know, and I I I don't know what else to say. Although, you know, I wish she would have retired from doing concerts because that, that in itself, just preparing for it looks stressful. Um, you know, I, I wish to God he was still here so that my baby girl could have met him because she's always asking, where's Michael? Who You know, is that Michael? I say, yes, that's Michael. She says, where is he? I say, he's in heaven, honey. He's with the grandparents. And that in itself is hard to explain to a two-year-old child who wants to know who this person is and was. You know, but I'm still going to feel this way for quite some time. I don't know if it'll ever change. Will my love for Michael die? No. Will me being a fan change? No. I've been a fan since 1995. I'm not going nowhere. Even with these false allegations, if people would just actually do some research and look at the court documents, look at the the people behind the allegations and see how shady they were, then they would be able to realize that Michael would never do such a horrible thing to any child regardless of their gender or their race or where they're from. Michael didn't get to have a childhood. Michael spent his entire time of his childhood trying to be better at his craft. So when he became an adult, he got to do things the things he couldn't do when he was a kid. People be looking at him and going, why is he hanging with kids? He's almost 40-something years old. Well, when you're 10, 11 years old, and you're part of the one of the most popular groups of the 70s, you're not going to have time to play. You're not going to have time to be a kid. you got to go in the recording studio and make an album, or you got to do interviews, or you got to do photo shoots just to keep your image afloat. That's the price you pay for becoming rich and famous in this industry. And Michael knew some shady shit was going on in this industry. Both the industry and possibly the movie industry as well. You know, I don't know what else to say except I will always love Michael. Michael will always have my support. And I wish things could have been different for him and for us as a fan community. You know, it hurts me to see the last rehearsal that he did two days before he died. It hurts to see him in that state because he was not physically able to do 50 shows in London. He was not well enough to go on there and perform the way he did when he was 19 or 20. This poor man wanted to do so much, but he was pushed to do those shows. He was pushed. More shows were added because he his he, his fans wanted more. Like I said, I wish to God. I wish I knew then what I know now. If I had known that now, maybe somebody could have said, Michael, you don't have to do this. You can go on and do other things. You don't need to do this. You enjoy your life with your kids. You get to be a daddy. You get to watch your kids grow up. 
possibly get married, you know, give you a grandkid, one or two grandkids. But he was pushed in that position. And there was no way he could say no. Because they would have pulled the plug on him. And he wouldn't have been able to tolerate that downfall. Had they canceled the shows. But I don't think he should have hired Conrad Murray. Of course, we all know how that went. I'm going to leave this here. Um, this is just how I'm feeling. I wanted to do this before the 25th, but here I am doing it after the 25th. Some fans can agree with me, disagree with me. It doesn't matter. I just want to put this out there. I know I haven't put out a whole lot of <clears throat> videos for movie reviews or wrestling, but I need, I need, I'm going to need to take a break every now and then from doing stuff like this because... You know, I got a life to lead and things to do, and I can't spend 24-7 on here. So, that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.